Welcome to this edition of Ensure You 2's educational series. In this edition, we're going to be talking about how an HSA differs from a PPL. You can find a worksheet to go along with this by going to the website, insureyou2.com, and clicking on the Documents and Publication section. In this segment, we're going to talk about the structure of an HSA versus a PPL. Most people are very familiar with a PPL. They've got them, and they've been using them for years. They're not so much of an HSA, but on a PPL, we have this insurance product, and we pay a premium each month to the insurance company, and that gives us some sort of insurance coverage for all our medical expenses. HSA is very much the same. We've got the same insurance. We pay the same premium, a little lower premium. Uh, it gives us the same coverage. We've got the in-network doctors, the out-of-network doctors, so we get the same type of coverage, except for the few things we're going to talk that's a little different here. Okay, But because of the structure of it, the government allows us to open up a health savings account. We can go to any bank and open these up. Okay, As long as I've got the health insurance company, I can have this specialist account. I get a little debit card with it to take money out, and any money I put into it, the government gives me tax-free, so it's before tax income. Okay, So let's say I make $100,000 one year, and I'm in a 20% tax bracket. I put $5,000 into my uh, HSA. I just saved a thousand dollars on my taxes. This is how some of the savings come back to us. That almost makes a four thousand dollar deductible to a five thousand dollar deductible to a four thousand dollar deductible. Okay. The HSA, though, like I said, was self-funded. Okay. That gets us money into it. What can I take money out for, though? I can take money out for my deductible, for my prescriptions, for my doctor appointments, all those types of things that my insurance uh, isn't covering. Okay. But I can also take out for things that my insurance doesn't cover, like dental, vision, chiropractic work, acupuncture. You get a nice list of this by going to our website, insureyou2.com, clicking on the document publications, and you can download the um, HSA expense list. And it gives you an idea what you can take out for. Um, the big question people have is how do I fund this? Okay, there's about three different strategies people use. One is, every month they pick a number, $20, $50, $100, and they put it into, my, into their HSA month after month after month, and they grow that HSA. The second strategy is they put a set amount in, $100, $500, $1,000, something they're comfortable with, and then as they get receipts and they draw down that balance, they replenish it, so they keep some sort of a set point. The third strategy people use is kind of a zero balance, kind of a reimbursement. They go wait till after they get enough medical bills, they add up what that total is, they make a deposit, and then they withdraw it right back out, like the next day. And then they pay themselves, because those medical bills offset what they put in, uh, that gives them a zero balance. So they're not getting uh, ahead that way, but they're not incurring any extra expenses. 